Now, I know a lot of you in the comments have put in links to season two of La Casa de Papel, and thank you for that and for the other people. I haven't gotten a chance to see it, but I did get a comment from one person, Z-C-O-H-H, or Z-Co, and he was saying, why don't you do a theory video? So, this one's for you, man. So La Casa de Papel, love the show. I cannot wait for season two. This is going to contain spoilers for sure. If you've already seen season two of La Casa de Papel, just keep spoilers out of the comments. This is just going to be spoilers for season one and theories for season two. Season two is only going to be six episodes, which I think is a really great choice. Relatively short and tight. There are two episodes missing in the Netflix release, so I'm going to hunt those down. I know some of you have been very gracious enough to put them again in the comments below so once i wrap this up and get to a couple more shows i definitely want to catch those other two episodes because it may or may not change this list at all but this list is in no way in any particular order this is a top five list of my theories of how i think the show might end up in those last six episodes and what could potentially happen and again zedco this is for you buddy so number five we left off in a really cool way. They have that beautiful song that I cannot get out of my head every time I think of this song. Just walking around going, Bella ciao, Bella ciao, Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. The professor's in the car. Raquel has found out or figured out that these guys have a hideout somewhere. And they're in there. They find everything. Plans. There's DNA all over the place from glasses that they were drinking and all that stuff. And it's juxtaposed with... Berlin talking to the professor about, you know, shit hits the fan. I need you to leave. Promise me you'll leave. And he says, no, this is about revolution. This is about rebellion. This is about us exacting our plan because this is this whole thing. So the big thing, how does he get out of this? I don't know. I don't think he had the foresight to actually plant a bomb in there. And that's the only way I think it could happen. There is a thing where a lot of this stuff has to get processed, so it could be a chance for him to get away. I would imagine he's going to get away anyways, but it's a matter of how. Number four. This ties into number five in that, do I think the professor has the capacity to eventually kill Raquel? Because she is getting too damn close. He's allowed her to get too close. He's got those feelings for her as well. And he did stop himself from killing her mom. And luckily, she's got a really... Like, her memory is really short. So... He was able to get rid of the evidence that she had, that Angel left, and that voicemail, and all that stuff. So, he doesn't have to worry about the mom anymore, but he was going to do it. And does he have the capacity to do it for this plan? Will he let Ra his feelings for Raquel get in the way? I'm not sure. And this goes back to number five that I mentioned, where does he end up blowing this whole place up? He could have planted those bombs, as I was mentioning in number five, and then wait to, for Raquel to leave and then blow up the rest of the house if they don't catch all the evidence. Again, this stuff needs to get processed, so that does take time. But there is that line that he may have to cross, and Tokyo even mentions it in her voiceover. Number three, the crew. So the crew was kind of turning on each other. A lot of them were thinking what to do with Oslo. Nairobi was going up against him saying, no, we need to get into an ambulance. But if an ambulance shows up, cops show up, their whole thing is done. Helsinki decides, is like, no, he's still here. Now Oslo's got his brain damage, got hit with a pipe. And they're really close. And he's not going to let anything happen to him if he can help it. But the crew is somewhat divided. Tokyo and Rio aren't as close as they were when the show first started. A lot of things came to light. Nairobi's kind of there doing whatever. Moscow is still working and his focus is let's just get this tunnel built because that's my job. And Denver's got that little love thing going on with Monica. So there's a lot of divide or there's a little bit more divide going on, especially with the fact that the police did end up breaking through. I think that this whole event and what's going to happen with everything is going to eventually tear themselves apart. Berlin is the wild card that could do something. I almost see him killing some of these people to be able to get away looking at them as some type of a liability they drew guns at each other and we're going to about to kill each other over oslo in the last episode of season one so that's definitely not going to help with the crew internally trust is key number two the hostages now they gave them the ultimatum and the professor had planned for this it's they're gonna eventually rise up something's gonna happen and they offer the money or freedom we'll give you a million euros or we'll set you free we left off with a few of them leaving and the rest of them staying back that we're going to keep the money, but we don't know what actually happened to them. I don't think that this crew would go as far as to kill the people that decide freedom. I think they're legitimately going to let them go. We already saw hostages that left 
previously. They are talking to the police, letting them know about the inner workings of inside, where cameras are, the people, all that stuff, how many hostages, all of that. So I would imagine they're going to let them go, but I think the hostages are going to be looking at planning something else and revolting against them. There are more of them than there are of our crew. And lastly, the biggest theory that I have, this revolves around the big, big question, do they get away with it? And it ties into another one, who gets out? I don't see Oslo making it out, and if he does, again, we're talking brain damage here, got hit with a pipe. I see a huge standoff going on, I think the tunnel will get built, but... I am under the suspicion because Tokyo's narrating this and she has a very good understanding of everything going on. She may be the only one that escapes this whole thing. I see this much more her story than anything else and her being our narrator and our kind of main character throughout the whole thing. I see her making it out. I don't see them making it out with the plan fulfilled. I see everybody getting wiped out or in jail, more so wiped out than in jail. Berlin's already on borrowed time. Moscow and Denver, again, for the father-son thing, I really, I hope they make it out, but I don't see it happening. And because in the voiceover, I'm noticing a little bit of a morose tone or a sad tone in the way that Tokyo's delivery is in the voiceover, I have a feeling Ryo gets killed. Puts her in some type of sadness. So I don't actually see this thing going through. There's a lot of stuff that happened. And there could also be the potential that the professor gets Berlin to take these people out. Tokyo takes out Berlin. Tokyo eventually leaves, hostages end up surviving, and Professor gets captured, and it is Tokyo, the one that they eventually get captured. There is that thing where, is she talking to the cops? Is she retelling the story to the cops? Or is she telling the story to somebody else? Maybe another crew that she's planning to go on a heist with, um, because that's her life. This is who she is. And we already know that her mom tried to sell her out in the beginning. So I don't think she's going to be going back to her mom unless she does and talks to her as well. So those are five theories or my top five theories that I have. We only have six episodes left for season two. And I am super, super excited because this is a phenomenal show. This is a great show. And so if you've got theories, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on my theories. If you can bust them, great. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. And Zedco, thank you so much for posing this question and giving me this idea for the video. I hope you enjoy it. Till next time, I'm G, and I'll see you in Season 2 of La Casa de Papel.